Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Mod Picks and I'm going to take you to my gun table this week and take you through my 5 favourite weapons for Fallout 4 so far. Now knives are also welcome at my gun table and this week I want to show you the survival knife. It's a really great looking weapon, looks fantastic in game and is really fun to use. On top of that it can easily be installed with Nexus Mod Manager and it has been added to the level lists. So you will find this on raiders and other NPCs throughout the world space. Just remember you may need a merged patch if you're using other weapons that are also added to the level lists. It's also available at the Armorsmith Workbench and for that you'll need AWKCR and I'll post a link down for that mod in the description below. Also, if you're not a fan of the writing or the emblem that's on the side of the knife, there is an optional download which doesn't have this on. Personally, it's a really fun knife to use in game, as you can see, very stabby. And I'm just disappointed in Fallout 4 that it doesn't have more options to use knives with. The stealth isn't fantastic for use with knives, but it is fun nonetheless. Next, we're going to move on to the bigger weapons. This is an M14A1 with underbarrel. Now there are several options for the underbarrel. You can have a grenade launch there or you can have a shotgun attachment there. Neither of those are usable at the moment, but hopefully that functionality will be added when we get more modding tools. For now though, it is a great looking weapon which is really nice to use in game. It's near and close to one of my favourite weapons at the moment which I'll come to last in this video. As you can see here as well, there is a host of mods available for it. My one gripe is that you can't make it into a long barrel. It's not a big deal, but I would like that option to be available. You can craft the weapon at the chemistry lab and easily install it with Nexus Mod Manager. What more would you want? It's a simple great looking weapon which is really fun to use in game. Now this little fella is one of my favourite one handed weapons to use in Fallout 4 at the moment. It packs a real punch and comes with some interesting attachments. The sight attachments for it are a little odd and we'll see that when I get to the modding station in a moment. But you can also add a flashlight or a laser to the bottom of this weapon as well, which is a pretty cool addition. It tends to have quite a bit of recoil if you use a rapid fire mode, which is what you would expect from such a small weapon anyway. And here we can see some of the attachments. So the scope for one of them is actually on top of a silencer, which is quite interesting and works quite well in fact in game. One of the things I like about it most though is the fact that you can have pretty much all of the usual attachments on top of this as well. So you can change the grips, put a quick load mag on it and really make it your own individual small machine pistol. Next on my gun table, and a weapon that is vastly becoming one of my favourite in Fallout 4, is the Pipe Shotgun. Now I did feature this weapon in a previous video, so I won't dwell on it too much here. But basically, for those who haven't seen it, the Pipe Shotgun is a new weapon that's been added to the game in the style of the other pipe weapons that you can find in the vanilla game. The main reason I like this weapon is one, you can add all the modifications for all the other pipe weapons to it, and two, it fits in with the game. It actually does resemble very closely the other pipe weapons and looks like it should have been part of the original game. Like I said, I won't dwell on this weapon too much, but it's a great addition to have in early game, or if you like the pipe weapons, it's definitely great to bulk out your arsenal, and it's a great alternative to the usual double barrel shotgun. The mod is about to go through a larger overhaul and I'll update you with that when it takes place. It will change the look and the style of the weapon slightly. Okay, so moving on to the last weapon and my favorite one to use in Fallout 4 at the moment, the MK14 EBR. It's a fantastic weapon, really well done in game and looks absolutely incredible. This is my preferred setup of the weapon with a short medium scope 
and a silencer on the end, but it looks great with all of the attachments that it's available with. One of the main things I like about the weapon though is the weight. It actually feels quite weighted in game and feels like a proper weapon in your hands. I don't know how quite to describe it, you'd have to go and try this out for yourself, but for me it just feels quite nice to use in game, it just feels perfectly weighted and every shot feels great. To craft this weapon, you will need again AWKCR. Again, there's a link down in the description below. And then you can just simply craft it at the Armorsmith workbench. There is also a patch available for wearable weapons, and you'll find a link to that on the main mod page. This means you can use it with the Visible Weapons mod, therefore, having the static object of this weapon on your back in third person, which is a great addition to have. You'll pretty much see this weapon used in all of my mod videos, especially one upcoming with Ruddy's Scouter mod. If you've liked any of the mods that I've shown in this video, please follow the links down below to take you to the mod pages, and remember to endorse any mods that you use. I hope you've enjoyed this week's mod picks, and the gun table will return in future videos, maybe in its own separate segment. As always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.